Welcome back to the Dirty Shop. Today we are going to take this sweet wood miser uh, LT40 LT40 bandsaw mill and we're going to make it longer. So we're going to cut it off here and then we're going to, we've got this big chunk of aluminum. We're going to stick it in the gap there, make some adjustments on it and then put it all back together and so, again. And so hopefully we'll gain 10 or even 12 inches of span for this uh, lumber mill to make it cut wider, bigger logs. So we're going to get busy cutting this with the plasma cutter and then uh, we'll try and get our piece of aluminum to fit in there. Warning, this video may contain scenes of extreme untidiness. Viewer discretion is advised. But we're gonna cut it off right here. This is where the debarker attachment goes. You can see the debarker laying right down here. So the debarker attachment goes here. So we've gone about a half an inch past that um, and we're gonna cut it off there and all the way around. And then our new piece of, of aluminum extender is gonna fit inside of this big tube here. And so we're gonna to have to cut an extra chunk out of here because I'm using my plasma cutter and it's gonna be a little hard to get in here uh, to cut it off, but the rest of it should go pretty well. So we're gonna get cutting on this. It's just we're making a fuel air fire basically. Yeah. yeah. Now we've got all the ends. We got it cut apart where we wanted to. Not too bad of a cut on the plasma cutter. Uh, we had to take a little more out of the top so we could get the plasma cutter head into here. And now we're going to grind these so that our piece of aluminum will fit. And you see this bur this bead in here from where they welded the pipe together. We're going to have to mill the piece of aluminum down to fit in there. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to mill this out. We're going to grind it out with the, the angle grinder and get it nice and clean on uh, both sides. And then we'll see how close our piece of aluminum is to fitting in this. All right, you can see we've cleaned this out and with the angle grinder, we've cleaned it out good and we've used a wire brush and wire brushed any of the rust and stuff that was in here out of the way. And we measured this with the calipers and it's 1.65 inches this way, but it's not perfectly even, but that's pretty close. Um, and then uh, this way we didn't actually measure yet. So do that this way here really nice to have a pair of calipers is 5.65 so 5.65 each one of these is probably gonna be a little different but we're gonna go on the mill now and we're gonna mill out that chunk of aluminum to fit in there After much cutting, we have our piece of aluminum that fits into the uh, the saw here. These four bolts go where the uh, debarker attachment is on the one side, and they don't move. And then these are the adjustment bolts down the center. They're half inch, an inch apart. And this will go, fits really nicely in here. We already stuck it together to make sure it fits. And now the last thing we got to do is put the holes in here that will line up with these holes in order to bolt the whole thing together. So we're gonna do that now. It's normal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so to, to line up these holes in this one, I'm going to use, I've got a couple of half inch pins here, um, and then I'm just going to draw a pair of lines top and bottom, and then I'll know basically where my holes need to be. So my, my center holes need to be drilled halfway between these two lines.
Now that I've got one hole drilled and I drilled it like better than I could have imagined, but it's perfect. And I'm gonna use that hole with the drill bit to track and drill the hole through the other side. That way it goes, the two holes are perfectly aligned. If you tried to drill this without the bar in there, you'd never get them straight. Starts out like, hey. I was having trouble with my little drill gun, so I got out this one. <laughs> yes. This one will break you though. It'll pick you up and spin you in circles. Ah. Oh, apparently I need to spin my bit a little bit. a bit a little longer. Yeah. Can't make it much longer. <clears throat> I didn't even use this in so long, I'm sure it works. <sighs> yes. I don't know what it's made for, man. It's a monster though. That's right, pick that. <laughs> so here's a little trick for you. I got this first hole to work and this is a half inch hole here and I need another one two inches away, at least that's what I want. And so I took my calipers and I put 1.75 inches on it. I just minused the, the half the width of this hole and now I can use the caliper to scrape a, a line right at that two inches away mark. So now that I've got that, I just need to get the center here again and I can drill my next hole. So I use my center punch to, to put a little mark there where my drill will start and I'm gonna start with a smaller drill bit because it makes life a lot easier to get that big drill bit in there and it's easier to track a small drill bit. So the uh, last part of this we're gonna do before I put it together is put some grease zerks in here. So I got a, uh, a letter R drill bit for a 1 8 27 taper, taper tap. I'm gonna put one back in here somewhere. All right. Okay, we're going to do our final assembly on this. It's raining on us now. Uh, make sure to put a lot of grease on it when you put it together because aluminum and steel, you'll get a little electrolysis and, and you want to make sure it slides smoothly as well. We've got a grease zerk in the top and the side here and uh, it should all work together. We're just going to grease the out of it before I put it together. I just grease it a lot, I guess. It's wet now, of course. <laughs> gooey, gooey grease. It's my favorite stuff. Oh, oh. No, that's not good. Uh, strong wires. Yeah. Well, we'll see if it still operates when we put it together, huh? Have to replace a wire. Okay. Let's grease over there. <laughs> yeah, let's grease over here. Environmental <laughs> <laughs> disaster are in my hands. What do you use that like orange citrus stuff? Oh uh, yeah, I got some pretty good, some pretty good soap in there. Yeah. Take this stuff off. Am I greasing that? Oh, we gotta grease that side too, huh? Yeah, I'm cleaning my hands. Yeah. Silliness. <laughs> kind of silliness. <laughs> Final assembly take two. We had to drill this back hole out just a little larger. Getting these holes to be just precise as possible is really important. So I did these two three, three inches apart and uh, we're pretty good. We're using these half 20 bolts to hold it together. So here we go. Let's... Well, it worked pretty good. Our three-day project is done, or two-day project, I guess. And uh, we ended up with a bit of a gap here. 
you can see where the whole thing comes together. It's about an inch and a half wider than it was stock. And uh, if we just cut another inch off this big bar of aluminum, because we used a 33 inch bar and it really could have been 32 and been just fine. And then it would have gone right back down to stock width. We've got two big bolts holding together here. The four original bolts from the, from the uh, debarker hold that side on. And then we have this gap here where we had to cut it out. And so we just got this piece of aluminum and it can extend across. I got a couple heavy magnets on here. We'll have to glue down and then it'll just stay there and keep that covered. But uh, otherwise it seems to work. And hopefully it's pretty sweet. He's gonna give it some test runs and then he'll let me know how it goes. But it doesn't look like he's gonna have any trouble with the original blades and it'll extend out to what, an extra foot and a half at least. So looks like a good setup. Thanks for watching The Dirty Shop.